What's going on YouTubers, Gadang775, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about my most disappointing game of the year of 2017 and my top 2 game of the year for 2017, okay? Um, I was only going to nav one but since there was a late edition that came in at the end of the year, you folks probably already know what it is, I added in two so they're tied for my top two of the year. Now first off, let me talk about disappointment, okay? There was this really great open world game that came out for the PlayStation, okay? Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. So I tried it a little bit when it came out. So basically you hide in bushes, take people down, and shoot dinosaurs. Then you go to the next area, you hide in bushes, take people down, then go to the next area. Ironically, I had more fun with Mass Effect Andromeda, which was supposedly a lot of people's disappointment. Um, than Horizon Zero Dawn. Don't get me wrong, Horizon Zero Dawn is a well-made game. It's just not for me. And that game convinced me to sell my PS4 and my PS4 Pro and put them into my PC. So I went all in in the Xbox ecosystem and I went all in with my PC. I have two PCs, by the way. I have an HT PC and my Ryzen 7 1700 Snowblind that I, I built, okay? I took the GTX 1080 that I got from selling my PS4 Pro and PS4 and stuck that in my CyberPower PC which I got for like what 700 bucks and I'm using that as my HT PC now as my home theater PC and I'm using my Ryzen 7 1700 and RX 580 as my video and editing rig so I went all in with PC and Xbox and they go together well because I love the Play Anywhere program. Ark Survival Evolve was just made Play Anywhere and I'm even though I gave up on Ark, I still go back and play single player now and then. Okay? But yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, it's you know, it wasn't for me. You know, the Uncharted series was great up until Uncharted 2. Then Uncharted 3 it was like a step backwards. Uncharted 4 was almost as good as Uncharted 2. You know, but I like the Tomb Raider series better. So, everyone has their preferences, alright? And I'm not going to knock for anyone's preferences. And if people are trying to knock me for my own preferences, screw those guys. I don't care what people think, okay? It matters if you're having fun. If you're having fun, that's all that matters, alright? Don't let anyone tell you what you're going to have fun with and what you're not, okay? Because they're not you. They don't know. They don't know what you like. So, yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn, most disappointing game of 2017 for me. Now, on to my top two 2017 games of the year. Okay, it's a tie. Okay, first off, this one's going to be polarizing. It's going to piss a lot of people off, but I don't give a rip. It's Star Wars Battlefront 2. Okay, when I look at game of the year, I don't look at graphics. I look at replay value and fun factor star wars battlefront 2 has them both i'm 50 hours into star wars battlefront 2 okay i played through the campaign i even played through the dlc campaign that came to help you know clear up the campaign ending which left in a cliffhanger but the second campaign the dlc campaign that came out that one left in a cliffhanger as well so it's like oh man and the thing is ea is gonna release free dlc for this game forever they screwed themselves with this microtransaction shit. They can't go back on their word and say, oh, we're going to have to charge you for DLC that's coming out. No, they already said they're not. And since they took out microtransactions or the ability to pay for things, okay, that's when I bought the game. $53.99, I haven't spent a single dime on microtransactions, okay? But campaign is not where this game's bread and butter is at. It's multiplayer. I am having a blast, literally on blast okay blast is a version of multiplayer um game in star wars battlefront 2 okay first team to reach 100 wins and that game goes by so quick it goes by so quick and it can turn on a dime okay then you got strike with objective based scenarios you know that one's fun heroes and villains is great and galactic assault is by far my favorite it's like these big open warfare you know you got vehicles flying you got at ats going coming at you you got jedis coming at you okay and it's the most fun i've had in a while okay star wars battlefront 2 has provided me with hours and hours of fun and replay value much better value than watching the last jedi movie on opening night okay it's kind of ironic the last jedi movie for me it it's not as good as this game okay 
Um, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, you know, I don't go out and buy everything Star Wars, but I am a fan of that series, and they just totally killed it with The Last Jedi. But they redeemed themselves in my eyes, okay, in my opinions now, these are my opinions, not yours, don't get butt hurt. They redeemed themselves in my eyes with this game, because I'm having fun with this game, okay. A lot of people may not like it, but I don't give a rip, they're not me. I'm having fun. One of my 2017 games of the year, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now on to my next game of the year and you folks already know what this is by looking at the background Players Unknowns Battleground. Okay? I've dabbled in Player Unknowns Battleground on Steam on the PC for a little while and I suck ass with a keyboard and mouse. I really do. I can't do it. I can't use a keyboard and mouse playing games. I need that controller in my hand. Okay? So I got my Steam my, my Steam game refunded because I, I tried it for like an hour. I refunded the game, you know, I didn't I waited for it to come on console. And even though it's a horrible, beautiful, addicting, glitchy mess, I'm still having fun with Players Unknown Battlegrounds, okay? Getting those chicken dinners makes your heart pound. Like it's so intense, you know, when you're in the top ten, it's like <laughs> you get like so intense so excited okay that you're in that top 10 you know you know your adrenaline's going you're having fun with your friends you know you're shooting the breeze you're talking smack to your fr your buddies in in chat the only thing they need to work on is the lag issues the rubber banding uh, um the glitchiness they need to work on everything okay oh and they need to do that open world chat you know like proximity chat okay like i want to hear the person that i just shot and killed you know talk smack you know i want to hear that okay but other than that, this game is phenomenal. Even though it's running a sub 30 frames per second on my Xbox One X, I don't give a rip because I'm having fun. Like I said, replay value and fun factor. Those are game of the year candidates for me. Okay? Um, game of the year choices or categories that I look at very, very hard. And this game has them both. As well as Star Wars Battlefront 2. So yeah, those were my... 2017 games of the year and my 2017 disappointment of the year let me know what you folks thought about it you know what your game of the years are down in the comments below and if you don't agree with me i don't care this unsubscribe from me i don't care okay or leave me a salty comment down below and i'll have so i can have a laugh while i'm sipping my coffee but yeah, this is Gadang 775 I want to thank you folks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and let me know. In the, um, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button and leave me your tears and salty comments down in the comment section below. I do appreciate the criticism. This is Gadang 775 just the Maui boy in Texas. Peace out.